I was rushed into hospital at some awful hour one morning with fairly dramatic symptoms. They discovered a mass on one of my kidneys. I was misdiagnosed with depression, and then I was later correctly diagnosed with bipolar. I suffer from a heart condition called atrial fibrillation. My heart beats at a super fast rate. I think that what we have to remember is that the NHS is paid for by our taxes, and so I'm really happy that the Conservatives will deliver on growing our economy, keeping people in work, making Britain competitive so that we have those taxes to pay for the NHS. My treatment with the NHS has been, oh, the only word I can use is amazing. Um, I've always been treated with respect and dignity. When the funding is given, it has to be uh, spent wisely. It has to be spent in a way that we get the maximum benefit, especially with cancer. Early detection uh, leads to improved outcome, better survival, and the way the Conservatives have uh, funded the NHS, uh, there is a lot of emphasis on early diagnosis. The tumour I had <clears throat> was actually a stage three. Had it gone much further, it wouldn't have been um, such a good prog prognosis. I think nowadays people are suffering a lot with mental health. The cash boost is really, really important. It's a really welcome, really welcome change. Well, in the, in the laboratories where I work, there has been a huge amount of investment in equipment and IT, thereby providing a quicker diagnosis, which of course has to be better for the patient. And of course, it's all due to the Conservatives' investment in the NHS. The Conservatives are the best people for the NHS because they're forward planning, they're looking ahead, and they're putting in the services that are required and needed for our healthcare system. With our balanced approach to the economy, we have been able to announce the biggest cash boost in the history of the National Health Service. Our long-term plan for the NHS will ensure it is spent well, investing in prevention and better treatments for conditions like cancer and diabetes. Because as well as investment in our health service, this is also about ensuring the NHS is always there for you and your family.